yo, what it do squad? It's your boy Geek Samurai. I'm coming to you back with another video, man. In this video, I want to talk about the TV show that just dropped called Undone. All eight episodes are on Amazon Prime Video right now. So I just want to give you all my overall, you know, review of this TV show, how I felt about it, and, and if you should see it or not. And I'm telling y'all right now, this show is hot. Y'all need to go see it. It's straight fire. I love this TV show so much. It has to deal with schizophrenia. This girl, this little girl named Alma Diaz, played by Rosa Salazar. Ah, she's the MVP of this TV show, bro. And I love this this TV show. I love this whole binging of it because I binge all eight episodes. I don't care. I binge all eight episodes. I don't give a fat. I love it because it's more like an animation, DreamWorks, or Pixar type of feel. Um, it had mo caption of all the the actors and actresses in this TV show. They had the mo cap on and they were animated. It, it's like they're in another dream sequence. It felt like I was in a dream sequence the whole time I was watching this show. Undone is fantastic. Scratch that. Hashtag fan fucking tastic. I have to say that because it's so freaking good. Rosa Salazar, she's the girl who plays in Alita Battle Angel. She's also the girl who plays in Bird Box. And she was also in that TV, that movie called Maze Runner. Maze Runner, I watched all three trilogies of Maze Runner. I don't care if y'all liked it or not. I love that franchise. It was good. At least one and three. Two, eh. But Rosa Salazar, I've been a fan of her. I've been watching all of her movies from day one. And I still love Alita Battle Angel, which I think is the best anime adaptation from anime in Japan to live action movies. I think it's the best movie. And Rosa Salazar, I've been with her on this ride ever since. And she steals this movie for me. Now, another actor that they have in this is, um, he's the father. What is his name? Bob Odenkirk. He plays Carl Saul. He's the lawyer from Breaking Bad. This dude is the father to her in this movie. He plays Jacob Windergrad. Yo, he suffered from schizophrenia as well. And his mother has it. And he's trying to, like, save his daughter and try and make her become the new Shalma, which is, like, a, a, I guess, an Indian tribe or whatever, where they could see, I guess, farther beyond the human eye with space and time. And it can go back through time and cut and, and manipulate time. And he's all about time travel in this, in this TV show. He is all about trying to, you know, I guess, better the human race. He's another important character throughout this entire show. And it just so happens that he has schizophrenia, just like his mother. And apparently, I'm spoiling the hell out of this TV show. So if y'all click this video, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm spoiling it. So don't watch this video. But if you do, have you, if you've seen this, watch this video. So it looks like he's trying to do tests on his daughter, Alma, who's, the, who's his oldest daughter. He has another daughter named Becca, but we're going to get into her later. So he's trying to make sure that she doesn't have schizophrenia because she was born without able to hear. She could not hear. So she had to get the um, the implant put in where she can hear. When she first got the implant, she started, everything was muffled. Everybody started to sound robotic. Everything just was not. And then she finally grew into, you know, it took time, but she finally was able to adapt with her implant and was able to hear clearly. So her father, Jacob Winograd, he was very important character in this TV show. And the next character I want to talk about is Camila Diaz, played by Constance Marie. She is the third, she is my third favorite character in this TV show. She's the mother who's always trying to do good. She was the mother that was cheated on. She was the mother that always likes to go to church to be heavily involved with her daughter's life. I love her character too because she, all she wants is the best for Oma. All she wants is the best for her husband. All she wants is the best for her youngest daughter, Becca, or they call her Bex. Oma call her Bex in the TV show. So, I guess Alma's just sick and tired of her mom coming around, trying to tell her what to do. Alma already knows she's broken. She knows that. But she feels like, I guess her mom feels like she needs to be a part of her daughter. Like to tell her, you're not broken. You are a good girl. You are a good child. You work hard. You, you have a boyfriend. Y'all live together. I want the best for you. That's all I want. So, when Alma gets into this car accident, she suffers. She, she goes into a coma. For like about two weeks, she's out of, you know, she's out of it. She don't know where she's coming or going. That's when she started to see visions of her father, have these dreams of seeing her father. 
and she comes out of the coma and she suffered from PTSD. There's medication for that. But we don't know later on in the TV show, we come to find out that she does have schizophrenia because she's hearing voices. She feels like she has superpowers, but she can go back through time and space and she can see and she's having hallucinations. So she does have schizophrenia. But the PTSD is what her mom wanted to take those pills. She even goes to a priest about it, trying to have the priest talk to her daughter to take the pills. But Alma is going to be a rebel. Alma is a rebel in this TV show. And I love that she is. That fire that she has. She 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 just wants the best for herself. So Alma Winograd Diaz, she goes hard to try and bring her father back. She wants to go back to that time in Halloween where her father got that call about his lab being broken into, which was his wife, Camila Diaz. She broke into his lab to try and find out where her daughter is. So Alma, throughout this whole show, she's just trying to get back. She's trying to get back to that night so that her father does not ever pick up that phone call and stays with her all night and they go back home together, which eventually does happen. That eventually does happen. But it took a while to get there because this is where throughout the TV show, Alma's father's trying to teach her how to, you know, manipulate space and time, how to move keys, how to move a different object, how to bounce to and fro to get to do it's like teleporting. How could you do this? I need you to develop these powers that I've been seeking. I'm not the Sharma, but I want you to be. It took a group of us to, to be able to move those keys. She had a dream sequence about that, where there's a group of people around one set of keys, car keys or something like that, and it started to get this glow around it. It took a group of them to finally get that power. But Alma is stronger than that. She knows that she could do this because that fire and desire that she has to go and rescue her father and save her father. She wants to find out who her killer, who his killer is, because that's what he tells her when she comes out of that coma. I need your help. I need you to find out. I need you to find out for me who the killer is. Lo and behold, it was him that drove him and his uh, teacher's assistant. He was having an affair with his wife. It was him that drove her off the cliff because he didn't trust her. He's about to lose his lab. He's about to lose his work. Because his teacher's, I guess his teacher's assistant, she was going to go report him to the head of, I guess, the school board to, to confiscate his work. That he's insane. He's crazy. Cheating on his wife with a student. That's what a lot of teachers do nowadays. I don't know where they get off with that. That's some weird shit. Anyways, freaking Oma finally finds out about that. Because we all know Oma throughout this entire show that she's always drinking. That's how she handles her depression. She's always at the bar. You know, she she drags her sister that they have shots of tequila Patron. You know how Mexicans do. They, they love that tequila. They love that Patron. That's what it is. Like like us Jamaican. We love that rum. Give me that rum. It don't matter if it's rum punch, rum cream, Jamaica white rum. We are all about the rum. So it was, it's crazy how... Alma's a broken character, but she happens to want to bring everybody else down to her level as well. Her boyfriend, Sam. Oh, I can't stand this dude. I'm going to butcher his name, but he's, but Sam is played by Siddharth Jahanja. Jan, Jahanja. I butcher that. I'm sorry. I don't know who you are, but I've seen him in other shows, but he's not a really big marquee character for me, especially in this show. He's a, more of annoying. So apparently Alma Winograd Diaz, she breaks up with him. When she was in a coma. She broke up with him before she got into the accident. Obviously, she's in a coma for two weeks. When she comes out of it, he's been lying to her this whole time because he moved out already. All her stuff was gone before her accident. When she was out for two weeks, he moved his stuff back in when she was in that coma. She comes out of the coma. They go back home. He makes it seem like everything is fine as it was, that he never broke up with her, she never broke up with him, he never moved out, everything was normal, and it's as it should be, lo and behold, she found out, lo and behold, she brings her little sister down to her level too, because they were playing truth or dare, they were drinking all night with this bartender, Tomas or whatever, I think that's his name, they were, they were drinking or whatever, and her sister Bex was getting married to this white dude named Reed, he's not an important character, but his name, he was playing by Kevin Bigley. Reed was the character's name. Anyway, her little sister cheats on her fiance with the bartender because they were so pissy drunk that she wanted to keep that a secret. All of a sudden, she finally has to go and tell her husband at the end of the show when she catches up to Alma. They're sitting in the desert of Mexico. Alma's looking at a pyramid waiting for her father to come out. She finally tells her husband that she cheated on him before they got married and... The wedding is off. The, the, not the wedding. The divorce is off. 
They're going to get annulment, everything like that. It's been crazy. But I just wanted to focus on these three major characters between Alma, between, um, what's his name? Her father and her mother. Because those were the three characters that I thought were very, very important throughout this whole day. One father is crazy like his mother. The mom is the one who's a sane one, who's trying to keep the family together, who's trying to, you know what I mean? Bring everybody to church, see God, all that good jazz. And then you have Oma, who's the broken one, who everybody around her has to cater to her because she cuts her wrist. She bleeds out. You know what I mean? She drops out of college or she drops out of school. Everybody's concerned about her. What you going to do now? What's going to happen? So Bex or Becky, she's the one that feels left out. Like, it's always about you, Oma. It's, it's never about anyone else. It's always about you. Whatever you doing, you're the fuck up. You're the broken one. Anyway, guys, I just want to give you all this quick, quick, quick overview. My thoughts on this TV show. Go watch it. Eight episodes. I've always said this. In my previous videos, if y'all go check that out, my previous videos, I've always said this. That if you come up with a TV show to binge, or you come up with all the episodes in one sitting, have eight to ten episodes. That is a perfect number of episodes to have for any show. If you drag it out to 13 to 15 to, you know what I'm saying, 15 episodes in one season, people are going to get tired. People are going to get fatigued. People are going to get... We live in an era right now where, you know, movies are expensive to go to. Everybody just wants to stay home. They don't care how much money they put into these, these ser streaming services. They don't care about... They don't. They, they probably return the cable box because all they have is Netflix. All they have is Hulu, Amazon Prime Video. You need to make sure that your viewers or your audience does not get tired out. They don't get fatigued. They don't get dreary or, or, or you want them to keep coming back for more. So that's why I love Amazon Prime Video and I'm glad I have it. If you're a Prime member, you're going to get Amazon Prime Video. That's just a fact. Because every time they put out a TV show, whether it's Jack Ryan, whether it's The Widow, whether it is The Boys, or now this show is undone. Amazon Prime is coming out with such good content and their episodes are usually between 8 to 10 for their entire season. That is their number. Whoever's the director on that TV show, whoever is coming out with these shows, they make sure, I guess Amazon Prime Video, whoever's the CEO or the president of the studios, Amazon Studio, they're making sure they tell every director to only have 8 to 10. Because I've watched all these TV shows on Amazon Prime Video and I've been wanting... Even Hana. Hana. Hana was good too. That's another show I forgot. These shows are so good and you do not get fatigued, man. And it makes you want more. It makes you look forward to season two. Jack Ryan is coming out with season two. And I'm telling you, I'm so looking forward to it. I, I did a video for that too. Go scroll down, swipe down, and you will see that video. Go check that out. Jack Ryan. It's going to be such a good season two because of what season one was all about and how they built up that character. And the episodes were so short. It was like eight episodes. So you get eight hours, seven and a half hours, eight hours of good content. That's equivalent to two movies, maybe three movies, depending on how the length of the movie. Some movies are three hours, some movies are two hours, two and a half hours. But you want good content like that where you get seven to eight hours of good content that wants the viewers they want them feeding for more. So I digress about some other TV shows, but I'm focusing on this live streaming service that Amazon Prime Video is doing, is putting out. This show, I wasn't going to watch it. I've seen on social media advertisements for it, but then I was watching a YouTube video, Collider Movie Talk. Go check out their channel. Subscribe to that. I don't know why I'm advocate for them, but I'm a huge fan of Collider Video. Anyway, they would, it was word of mouth. They were just talking about Undone. Go check out this show. It's only eight episodes. I was like, I right, bet. I got nothing to do. I'm off from work. Facts. I checked this joint out, and I'm so, so impressed at the time spent with every character. The time that was spent for doing this. The difficulty of doing motion capture. If it is motion capture, it doesn't matter. There are real actors and actors who are made up in a cartoon dream world. So, so good how they did it. For eight episodes, for eight hours of content like that, well done. Well done. And I'm going to tell y'all, y'all need to spam up hashtag fan fucking tastic in the comments below. Because I'm telling y'all right now, this show is amazing. And I hope 
I hope they do a season two. Because look at the end. I'm going to spoil a bitch at the, at the end. It looks like when her sister walks away, said, I'll wait for you in the car. You see the sun rise up and all you see is her look at the tomb. And you just see that white figure from her dream. That white figure show up in her pupils, in her eyeballs. That could be her father coming back to her reality. And, and she's going to prove to everybody that she's not crazy. That she's not a fuck up. I cannot wait for season two. But in the meantime, I got all these other TV shows to get through and do my reviews for them. But I need y'all to go see this. I'm doing this video. I don't normally do reviews for TV shows anymore. I just do trailers or movie reviews. But I had to do this video. Because this this TV show so good. I binged it in one night. Tonight, actually. So good. So good, squad. Go check out this video. Amazon Prime video. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you got this already. So go check this out. Oh, it'll be the best eight hours of your life, man. Anyway, squad, I'm about to get up out of here. I just want to bring y'all this video. Let me know what y'all think about this. If y'all seen it, let me know. If y'all watched it, I want to know what y'all think. I really do. I'm, I want to know. Did y'all like this TV show? Amazon Prime video is competing with Netflix, competing with Hulu. Let's keep it going. All right, Squad, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, share Geek Samurai. Hit that post notification bell so that y'all can get my videos. But until next time, I'm going to catch y'all on another video. Peace.